everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, there's this whole thing going around about Last Days of Freedom, Jeremiah Payne. Um, about him sending nude photos of himself to a nine-year-old child. Now, I know that he has changed his story a million times already. One minute that it wasn't true, there were no photos, that they've, he's never made photos like that. Then his wife took the photos. Like, his story changes so much on everything as it is because he lies so much that he has to lie to cover up another lie, and he's losing track of the lies he's covering up. So, last night in Frauditor's Exposed live stream, Jeremiah was caught in every single lie he's already told. So, do I believe that these photos were sent to a nine-year-old boy? I'm not sure yet, because I'm still waiting for that proof to come through my email. When I have that proof, then I will say for sure... Yes or no. However, I wouldn't put it past him. He is a disgusting human being. Him and his wife both are disgusting pieces of trash. They've put their own child in danger. They don't take care of her the way that she should be taken care of. And now we've got this going on. And it doesn't matter, like, who took the photos or why you took the photos. The point is, they're out there. Which means he sent them to somebody. Nobody hacked his phone and got these photos. He literally sent these photos to somebody. But who? We will find this out for sure. I, I guess there's a couple creators who know for a fact where, where these were sent. Again, I haven't received the proof in the email yet, so I'm not going to say. But these photos were taken, and they were sent to somebody. Sitting there on the live stream, constantly lying about this lie and that lie and this lie, and then you've got them talking about, well, we don't even have sex with Skylar here. We send her to her grandmother's and blah, blah, blah. I don't buy that at all. Like, they're disgusting, sick human beings. I seriously doubt that they send that child away anywhere. That child has probably already witnessed sex at five years old, before she was five. I mean, listen to the way she talks. And yes, I've already been criticized for allowing my daughter to call me a bitch in a playful way in a video last week. But you know what? I've never allowed my children... At that age, tell people to suck their D and totally just cuss people out. That's not how you raise a child. You claim you're homeschooling her, yet you are severely educated yourself. So how can you homeschool her? That's a laughing stock in its own. You have to be educated to homeschool. I I don't care how much material you get from the school. You still have to be educated in the basics of education to homeschool your child. They're disgusting. They're vile. They choose drugs over their own child. They choose themselves over their child. And this is what happens when you have... People like this on the internet, they feel like they can just do what they want and say what they want. And every time he gets in a jam, he runs directly to his subscribers and begs for money. Because he's too lazy to get a job. Now, supposedly, he's starting a job on the 17th or whatever it is. I call bullshit on that, too, because they were supposed to start a job as soon as they got back to Nashville. And, uh, well, yeah, there's an excuse for that one as well. He's been making excuses for his actions and non-actions for years. This isn't new. He's been doing this for years. The problem is now he's using that little girl to take money from people. He's using that little girl for all kinds of shit. I'm hoping she's not being used for something else. I am praying 
that that little girl has not been used for anything else. But I can't say yes or no either way. Then, and we already seen this. Everybody's seen it. We all heard it on one, on that one live stream the night he got arrested. Earlier in the day, he offered $500 for his daughter. Says he didn't say it, but then he came out and said it was a joke if he said it. Which is him admitting he said it, but now he's trying to backtrack. Just like he's doing now with the audio evidence of him stating, if you give me $300, then I will let you have a five-minute conversation with my daughter. Why would anybody who is not a pedophile want to give you $300 to talk to your five-year-old daughter? Any parent who gives a shit about their kid would know that an offer like that would bring the pedophiles just ringing that phone insane which tells me they've done this before if they're that comfortable to do it now they've done it before I don't care what the reason behind it was he claims it wasn't supposed to be anything sexual if it wasn't great hallelujah but when you do that you know what kind of people you're going to attract to make that phone or to to want to uh, give that money they're sick. That Their daughter needs to be somewhere else where she is safe, taken care of, and loved. Because she's not getting it from them. Somebody sent me this video, and I, I think Mark showed it last night on his live stream as well. But someone showed me this video. And it is proving that it is Jeremiah in these photos. It is showing the evidence and the proof that it is in fact Jeremiah. Thankfully, the genitalia was is blocked because that's the last thing I want to see is him. But even just seeing his body with that part blocked out is disgusting enough because you know why these photos are being taken. <coughs> Hello, map hangers. Glad to see you again. I've got a new one just for you. His name's Jeremiah Payne. This man right here claims to be an auditor of America. The truth is, he needs to audit his pedophilia. This man right here, get ready for the receipts. Can't change these tattoos. This is verified proof. And this is the pictures he sent to a nine-year-old boy. All you gotta do is look at the sheets. Map hangers, I think it's time to go get him. He is just absolutely disgusting. The most vile people I've seen here on YouTube yet. And as far as the frauding community. And then he's taking all of his e-begging to the internet which he's asking for a thousand dollars and they have yet to raise even a penny where he states i was falsely arrested november 9th 2024 recording to logan county jail in kentucky and for flipping the bird to the ca to the camera i spent five days in jail with no mat and no blanket and had w monia by the time i got out of jail because they only allowed me to have my mat and blanket from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Then later down the line, I went to court and they told me as long as I got no more trouble, they would drop all the charges. So months go by. I start being harassed by a guy in the town who does not like me. We have two already, we have two already called police on him like eight times. The police tell me I have to go to the county. Okay, I can't read any more of this crap. Uh, Jeremiah. You're saying that you're homeschooling your child? Are you serious? Do you not know what punctuation is? Do you not know that at the end of a sentence you must use a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point? It is the ending of a sentence. Please put that child in school. Please. Because if you don't, 
and you cl you're homeschooling her as you claim. Homeschooling means you actually sit down and teach the child. But if you're homeschooling her like you claim, then the only thing you're putting out in the world is a product that is just as severely uneducated as you when she does finally make it out into the world. And there's enough people like that that we have to help without more being added. Give your daughter a freaking chance at life. Part of that is an education. You are taking away everything that that child needs. Especially a safe home where she's stable, taken care of, and an education that she severely needs, especially at this age. This age, from the age of two to six, is the most critical ages for a child. Their brains are like sponges. They soak in everything. That's why it is so important to put your child in school as soon as possible. Please do not homeschool your child. If this is how educated you are, please do not homeschool that child. You can't spell. Your grammar is atrocious. And you don't even know what a punctuation is. I mean, this is just sad and disgusting for a 45-year-old supposed grown adult male. I mean, the only time he uses a period is after Mr. And he didn't even spell that or uh, put it correctly as the M should be capitalized. I mean... And two, when you're saying that you have also called the police, two is spelled T-O-O. -O. If you're going to the market, it's spelled T-O. If you're writing out the number two, it's T-W-O, which is what you use to hear. Please, for the love of God, do your daughter a favor. And give her to people who will take care of her. And yet that wasn't the only thing. He also has a petition out to sue the Russellville, Kentucky Jail and Police Department for his unlawful arrest. Which, by the way, you had a warrant out for your arrest. This arrest was lawful. They should have kept you and your wife until your court date. And not let you out so soon. But the arrests were completely lawful. And here we have it again. Well, first of all, have they gotten any signatures? 141 people out of 200 have signed. He, like, this isn't going to do anything for you anyways. But here we have it again. Number one, he's talking, to him, he's talking about himself a third person. Number two, he's showing his lack of education again. No punctuation. Grammar is completely atrocious. And spelling is completely off. Like, why would you capitalize the S in surface? It is not the beginning of a sentence, nor is it a pronoun. I mean, come on. If you want to be taken serious, get an education. Now he's saying that he's been assaulted on live stream by a tow truck driver. Does he even know what assault means? No, I don't think so. Never mind. I answered my own question before I even got the entire question out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Jeremiah is also looking for any financial help he can get to hire an attorney in case none of the attorneys will take his case and get paid when they win the Russellville City Police Department in county jail has put jail. What, what, what? First of all, you're not going to win jack shit. Because you are guilty across the board for everything you got arrested for. So I don't know why you're even bothering a lawsuit. I'm guessing Chili put this shit in your head because, you know, he is the drama queen of lawsuits. But... Have you checked his track record? 
He hasn't even won one lawsuit yet. And probably never will. He hasn't won any lawsuit that he has put out against police, against cities, against YouTubers. He has lost them all. You might want to stop taking legal advice from that idiot. Because he's not helping you and you're already an idiot as it is. Oh, man. The county jail put Jeremiah through so much. Has been unlawfully arrested. Spent a week in jail. Lost his job. You didn't have a job. What job did you lose? You had no job prior to being arrested. So what exactly kind of job did you lose? And, oh my goodness. The lies. Spent a week in jail, lost his job. Then when he got out of jail, they terminated his YouTube channel because of people in Russellville, mainly cops, who called and had his channel terminated, and YouTube obeyed them. Oh, my God. No. That's not what happened. You broke t uh, TOS. You violated the rules and regulations of YouTube, and that's why that happened. You also screwed up by not ending your live stream with StreamYard. Stop blaming everybody else for your crap. Everything happening to you now is your own doing. Not the police, not the city, and not us trolls. This is all on you. Every single bit of it is your fault. Be a man Take responsibility for your own actions. Get yourself sober and clean. And take care of your freaking family. You might want to get your wife clean too. She seems to be way more high than you are on live stream. Uh, simply arrested for recording the Logan County Jail in Kentucky and for shining a flashlight on the building, calling them tyrants. Yeah, that, that wouldn't get you arrested, stupid. They don't know and they need to be taught a lesson. No, actually, the one that needs to be taught a lesson is you. You're the only one here that needs to be taught anything. How to spell, how to write a sentence, how to write a paragraph. How to be a father. How to be an actual human being and a productive member of society. But that'll never happen because it's easier for you to sit in front of your laptop begging everybody for their money. Jeremiah is just absolutely disgusting. Him and his wife both. Like I said, they're just disgusting. And the sooner we get him off of social media, the sooner we can help people not be falling victim of them anymore. And the sooner that child is taken out of their custody, the sooner that child can repair what couple years have been destroyed already. Unfortunately, if she stays with them, she's probably going to end up walking in their shoes. And that's really sad. She's so young. She deserves a chance at life. A chance at a good life. A good, solid, stable life. Like I said in my last video, I am not claiming to be a perfect parent. We all make mistakes as parents. This is not a mistake. This is a lifestyle for these, these two. For Jeremiah and Samantha, this is their lifestyle, not a mistake. And... The only one getting hurt is a five-year-old little girl. And now, if it's true that these photos were sent to a nine-year-old little boy, how many other little boys have been sent photos? Not only is his daughter a victim of him and of her mother, but if that is true, a nine-year-old little boy and countless others could also be victims of his. People like him should not have a voice on social media, any platform. 
Because look what he's using it for. He's not using the platform for anything good. For an, He's not doing it for anything positive. He's using it for his own gain. Monetary, drug-wise, and possibly sexually. This is one sick MFR. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Be safe. I love each and every one of you.